Hello beautiful glam girls, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a makeup haul. Also, my nails are not painted, so don't look at them. I'm a little uncomfortable with them right now. Because they just kind of look dingy, like they need a, a nail polish. Anyway, but I was just like, after the hair and the makeup and setting up, I was like, I don't need one more thing to do. This is real life. You guys know I do my own nails, so it's just sometimes it's like, I just don't get to paint them. Anyway, so it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I am literally home alone filming all day. Well, actually, I spent all morning in bed because I am exhausted. If you've been following me on Snapchat or Instagram, I've been very busy the last couple of days. Like, I've just been out, and we've been going to, like, different restaurants and different events and just, like, really enjoying ourselves. Um, February is my birthday month, and so usually January to February, we just do a lot, and our lives are crazy. And then it's my birthday and Valentine's Day, and then March is my fiancé's birthday. So, like, from... December to March, we just do a lot. That's like our fun time. And then the rest of the year is like the blah time. Anyway, though, that's that's what's going on with us. And so I've also been doing some shopping <laughs> and spending too much money, to be honest. Um, and so that's where this haul comes in. I just filmed another makeup haul last week, and I, even, I haven't even posted that yet. I don't know which one I would be posting first. Probably this one because it's a little more exciting. I think the products are a little more fun and a little more um, expensive. And I don't know. Maybe I'll put that one up first. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them together. Hmm. Maybe I'll just put them together. I don't know. You'll know because you're watching Inception. Anyway, sorry I'm being weird. So, start out with this big package. <laughs> it's like bigger than the screen. So this is a package, PR package from Pixie. So thank you so much to Pixie for this package. It's the collection that they did with a bunch of YouTubers and also, ooh, with some YouTubers as well as beauty influencers and kind of um, makeup artists in the industry. So let me put the camera down so you can see. If you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, you probably saw this already. So this is what it looks like when you open it inside. So cool, and then it has the names and faces. So you see Judy from It's Judy's Time and a few other people from their different collections. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what's in here. I'm not going to um, swatch everything in particular or show like every little detail. I'm just gonna quickly run through all the products that are in this collection. I don't really know prices or anything, but I'll leave links for everything down below so you guys can directly go to the product and look at it yourself. But um, one thing I have used, if you follow me on snapchat you saw is the double cleanse so this is the caroline herons um i think she's like a industry celebrity makeup artist and so she created this two-in-one cleansing system you get one side that has this solid oil and it looks like a balm. You just rub that all over your face and it removes all your makeup. And then this side is a cream cleanser and it's super, super gentle, doesn't have a smell, didn't give me an allergic reaction. It feels really, really pure and gentle. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of chemicals and it did the job. Like I said, I did a live demo of it on Snapchat and it really took my makeup off and I absolutely love it. I think for the price, it's great. It's $24, but it's basically if you were paying like $12 for a cleanser and then $12 for like your oil is pretty much the same as buying this in one and I think that you get a pretty decent amount probably for maybe a month or two's worth of you know removing and I really really like it this collaboration is some uh, a strobe and sculpt palette and then the next one is um, strobe and bronze palette so these are two different palettes this one is meant to give you a highlighted and bronzy effect and this one is actually meant to contour and highlight so you get like those different shades of contouring and highlighting and I guess correcting it and then this one is the bronze and strobe this one has some really cool cool tones as well as bronzy shades and they have some shimmer and then there's some that are matte so I haven't tried them yet I'm just showing them to you guys because it is just a haul not a review and um but the packaging is really cute I haven't tried them like I said and then her collection also comes with this brush this is really cool so it's the strobe and sculpt brush and it says 
Uh, it's a dual synthetic fiber brush designed to be used for applying contour, bronzer, and highlighting shades. One, an one end is tapered to strobe and designed for highlighting. The other end has holds a flat edge. Buffing brush, amazing for bronzers and sculpting. It's vegan and it's synthetic. It's really soft. Oh my god, I was not expecting it to be that soft. So you can see moving the bristles back and forth. It's really, really soft. So then Judy um, from It's Judy's Time, her collection is an eyeshadow palette, well, a lip palette and an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette I opened because I wanted to swatch. So I already opened this and swatched it and it is gorgeous. The colors are so pigmented. It's my first time ever trying Pixie's um, eyeshadows and I'm really, really impressed. Also love the packaging. Really pretty like that mint green and then it opens from the bottom like this so you get your eyeshadows are protected and you can see all the colors so so pretty so rich so let me just quickly for example this gold shade one little swatch look how pigmented let's do um this like orangey brown so pigmented. I swatched all of them and I was so impressed. I'm really excited to try the lip palette. I think that's really cool, especially if you're a makeup artist. Um, lip palettes, I never find, like, really do it for me because I think, okay, I can't take this out. Like, in the last collection are highlighters and a blush and then as well as a lower lash mascara and a brow tamer. So let me just show you. This is with um, Aspinovard. I don't know who she is. I'm not um, familiar with her. But if anyone knows of her and um, watches her or anything, let me know, you know, what you think. I, I, I might check her out. So you have uh, two highlighters and a blush. So the blush is a really pretty, it looks like it's like a shimmery p uh, pink color. And it's a really pretty, like, big blush. So I'm just going to do, it kind of looks like NARS Orgasm. Whoa. That is pigmented. It's a little, like, chalky, but that's because I took, like, a huge swatch. But it's really, really pretty. It's So now, let's do the highlighters. So there's London Luster and Santorini Sunset. So this one is like a lighter pale pearlescent gold and then this one is definitely more of a true gold. London Luster, you can see it's definitely like a really strong pearlescent shade. The Santorini Sunset and this one is just as creamy and gorgeous. Like I said, this one is definitely more of a pale gold. You can see the difference. How this one is like really light and pearlescent and this one's definitely more gold. Like I said, if you want to see me using these products, just watch my makeup tutorials um, and, you know, follow on Instagram and stuff because I will tag when I use the products. So like let's say I'm using a bronzer and you really like it, look at the, the info because it'll probably be one of these products because I haven't used them yet. So I'm really excited to get my hands on them and actually start playing. <sighs> Okay, next, Sephora. So the Pixie stuff I didn't purchase. Like I said, those were sent to me because I'm on the PR list. But all this stuff from Sephora, I did pay for, okay? So first, I was going to put it down. I don't know why. So first, we have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This stuff is amazing. It actually really does feel like it cleans your hair. And you only need to use it once and you have volume for like three days in a row like my hair looks like I'm wearing a wig right now and it's all because of this stuff so I definitely recommend it I'm like so intrigued by it I will say that it really does soak up a lot of oil so if you don't have oily hair or your hair is not dirty and you're using it for texture go light handed on it because you can actually make your hair really stiff like the texture it just made it so stiff so, um, yeah, don't go crazy with it, but for texture and to actually feel like your hair is clean again after a few days, this stuff is bomb. Like, it really is. I'm hooked. Okay, next thing is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration 
face cream. This stuff is bomb. It's $40 for this little tub, but I think it's definitely worth it. The rose um, collection is amazing, like the rose face mask, the under eye cream. This cream, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it, it smells like roses, but it also smells like pickles. It's a weird smell. It's kind of herbally. So you get that rose smell, but there's like a, an herb smell, and it's a very strong smell that kind of negates the rose. But it doesn't bother me because once you put it on your face, the smell is pretty much gone. But it's a really, really thick, hydrating cream, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily. It leaves your skin feeling moisturized. It's almost like a thick gel. I really, really like it. You can use it day or night. And you know, a bitch is going to be 26, so I got to moisturize to keep the youth. <laughs> Um, so next thing I picked up is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This stuff is really, really good because it has all my favorite ingredients. I used to use this all the time, but then, you know, you try new things. And you guys know lately I've been loving the Pixie, um, the Pixie 2-in-1 mist where it's like half oil, half mist. But I'm like almost done. Like literally, I have one spray left i had to transfer it here because the bottle the top got messed up but like that's all i have left of it so i was like oh no girl i need a setting spray because i cannot live without one so i went back to this one and this one also has a little bit of oil this one is so refreshing because i believe it has um uh citrus flower water uh glycerin peppermint oil um balm mint I think it has like roses and like a bunch of crap in it, but I love that refreshing feel of, oh, they changed the packaging. It used to be metal up here, not plastic. Oh, it smells so good and it's so refreshing. It has such an herbal, minty, misty feel to it. It just feels so refreshing on the skin. It's one of those products that when you're tired and you spray it, it just makes you feel awake. And I love minty things. Mint everywhere. I love peppermint in my face. I love peppermint in my tea. I love peppermint in my chocolate. I love anything minty. And then the next thing is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. I love, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm trying to find the one that I'm almost out of so I can show you how much I love it. Look how much I have left. Like, girl, the obsession with this powder is real. It's, I've tried different brands and this one is just my favorite and it's only 30 bucks and it lasts months and I use a lot of it so I think it's definitely worth it. And it's just the translucent one. I know they came out with a few other ones um, like different colors, but those come in a smaller packaging. This is the big, big tub of just straight translucent powder, and it is just like God's gift to my makeup routine. I love it. And the last thing is because it's my birthday month, February 15th, Aquarius. Hello. So for the birthday gift, I chose this one. It's the Tarte. Um, it says it's exclusive shades, so that's cool. I have a lip color that's exclusive to me and all the other Aquariuses. And I thought it was so cute because it's actually a decent sized little mini. Like, this is actually really, really cute. So it's called Party, so I'm just going to open it up. Look how cute. It's so pretty. And you know, I love a good muted peachy blush. I mean, that's just like where I'm at in life. <laughs> And then this is the little lip paint in the color um, birthday suit. Look how cute and little. It's like a little baby. So let me swatch that for you. Look how pretty. This actually looks a lot like my favorite pinky mauve shade from Milani. So I know I'm definitely going to get use out of this. To Mac and I ran into some of my old friends who I used to work with at Times Square. And the Times Square location apparently... It's closed right now. Honey, I don't know what that tea is. I don't know. I'm kidding. But anyway, so I ran into some of my friends who work there now. And I was like, oh my god. Like, it was such a nice reunion because I was not expecting to see them there. I had never been to that store because it just opened like last year or something or two years ago. I ran into some old friends, did some shopping. So it was such a nice experience to run into some old friends and just be back at MAC. Because in my soul, like, even though I have my problems with MAC, like, you guys know how I feel about the fact that I love that they're, you know, giving products to influencers and stuff. Because, hello, I'm trying to be on that PR list. Like, MAC, what's up? Like, I'm a loyal ass bitch. <laughs> but at the same time, I would like to see 
the Mac employees getting a little more in their gratis and a little more, you know, stuff because they're the ones that hold up the company. They're the ones that serve the rest of us. They're the ones who make Mac what it is. And I used to be a Mac girl and I feel like I'll always be a Mac girl. Like I'll always relate to working for Mac. It's always going to be a part of me. Every time I go into a Mac, I feel like I'm home. You know what I'm saying? So it was just fun to be there and do some shopping. So I picked up some stuff. So I'm just going to run through it. So we have a stripped down lip liner, which I have never owned. It's weird. It's weird. But yeah, so stripped down is a beautiful, like, nudie, orangey, like a peachy brown. Perfect for my skin tone. And if you don't know what stripped down looks like, I'm about to show you. So make a list right now. Stripped down. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. Um, the next thing is cork because I used to love cork and I lost it or someone stole it from me. I don't really know. But yeah, I lost it. I don't know what happened. But cork is like one of those just you must have lip liners. It is just like this gorgeous rich brown that looks good on everyone. It's a really good color for dark girls as a nude but then for medium girls it's a really good brown shade on us it's just gorgeous um i picked up this brush because i like they don't really have that many new brushes but i was i was in the mood for a new brush like a new mac brush and so my friend was like oh this is a new one and we we were talking about desi perkins and we both love her so much and she was like yeah this is desi's favorite brush for give me sun and i was like oh well then i need it bitch so it's the 135 brush so so beautiful look at the shape of this brush when i saw it i was like oh my god i just want to contour the freak out of my face right now next we have format which you guys know if you've been watching my makeup tutorials for the last year or so it just became my jam girl and mine the little bit that I had left broke and then I had to back to Mac it and I just haven't picked a new one up. So when I was there, I was like, oh, I need this. Love this blush. It is like a red, brown, bronzy blush, but I use it all over kind of the apples and bronzing areas of my cheeks. And it just gives me like the most gorgeous, sun-kissed, bronzy, contoured look. I don't know how to describe it. It gives me that J-Lo cheek that I love and no other product has done that for me like I try to replace it with other things in my collection but I just don't feel like it does the same thing like I feel right now like I need some of this on my face like I don't know maybe it's just me in my head but I feel like it complements my Latina skin tone so well next is fix plus even though I just got the caudalay spray I feel like fix plus is just one of those things you can't live without and fix plus I feel like will be better to use um when um I'm wetting my brushes for like eyeshadows or using in between steps in my makeup um because it's just a plain kind of fixing water okay and then i picked up this uh retro matte liquid lip color um that it's new to mac this formula and desi <laughs> everything is desi she was wearing this the other day and i was like oh my god I'm a sucker for dark lipsticks. I mean, I'm pretty much either wearing a nude lip or a dark lip. There's really no in-between. And so this color is like deadly dark. And I love dark colors. Oh my god. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put it on. <sighs> I'm hyperventilating. Picked up one of the dazzling or dazzle shadow eyeshadows. These came out last year, and I remember Nikki Tutorials had made like a huge deal of them on her Snapchat, and I thought, oh my god, they're so beautiful. But I'm not the kind of person that like runs out and buys everything I want. That's just not how I am. But anyway, um, so I had to pick this one up because it's gorgeous and it's pretty much the only one that I really, really, really wanted. And this one is called Last Dance. And it is so gorgeous. So let me just swatch it so you guys can see how freaking gorgeous. Can you pick that up? I'm trying to see like... In real life, it is just gorgeous. It's like this rose gold iridescent unicorn glittery pinky golden color. And it's like it's kind of duochrome where like in some lights it's really pink and some lights it's really gold. I just can't wait to slather it on my eyes. So definitely had to pick that up. And I don't even know how long it's been 
since I've actually seen a pot of an eyeshadow pot like this because all my eyeshadows are in palettes. I feel odd holding one of these. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I picked up was the Creme de Nude um, Shade Sense Perfume because I've been dying for this one. You guys know what these look like already. How pretty is that packaging though too? Like it goes with everything in your life. It's just so classy. Mm. It's really yummy because it's like a really soft, musky, vanilla scent. And I usually go for like more sweet and like harder scents. It, this is right up my alley because it's sweet. But this one is definitely more romantic and musky and like soft. So I really like it. Something different from my collection. I love how it smells. I feel like a cupcake, like a sexy vanilla cupcake. I'll take it. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the haul. I'm going to try to edit this down, but you know how long it is. You know how long it is. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have someone to filter the bloopers. Okay, it's real life. You get what you get. Anyway, so I have another video to film. <laughs> so, bye, guys. I love you. Stay glim.